almost, when you're in a position like I'm in and, and been around so many different dudes, you can almost sniff out what do a person want out of you. You know, why is a person, what is his, what is his plans or what is, what is he up to, you know? Like I said, once again, I, I'm blessed that that's, my circle is so tight, you really can't, you can't really get in. Like you really have to chosen to get it, to, to get in and get a part of this. And it gotta be like somebody from inside of the circle that, you know, we the mob. You know, it, you gotta be really, really there. It's, it's, it's a hard circle to really get in, basically what I'm saying is. So I really, I'm blind. I really won't be able to see it, except for if it's outside of it. You know what I mean? Other than that, um, I, don't, I don't really worry about them type of things. Dude. You know what I mean? It's, I'm locked in with my brothers. You know what I mean? I ain't locked in with them, the haters or the people that don't fuck with me. You know what I mean? Speaking of haters, it's one thing I don't understand is people always say that the haters are the motivators. But I feel like a hater is like shitless, the right. lowest of whatever. You feel shitless. me? So ain't no way you can motivate me because, you know what I mean, you, it's, you're nothing. Right. So do you feel that haters are your motivators or no. how do you look at it? I don't feel like haters are my motivators. I feel like haters are my enemies. Right. You feel me? I don't fuck with haters. You feel me? <laughs> haters get in the way they get what come. You know what right. Like, no, they don't motivate me. Motivating me is telling me that they like what I'm doing and appreciate my work and my craft. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what motivated me. I mean, money. And when did you, so when did you start rapping? I actually started rapping, I think about 07, like me, E. Watts, you know, shout out to my E. Watts. We like started out, I actually was rapping, Tim Trees got me rapping, personally, Tim Trees, cause he was doing, he was bubbling real hard back, back then I got on his first mixtape. But I, I had to turn myself in. I was going to jail. I had to I did one song and that was it and I went right in. And by the time I came back home, I got back into it. So Were you writing when you locked up? Yeah, I was, was I writing I was writing a little bit. I was writing a little bit. I used to come around that cell and ask for that song every yeah. night. Yeah, shout out to my brother Cadillac Boo. I was writing in the I was writing a little bit. I used to let him hear a few songs. He'll motivate me to, to, to keep writing. He, he actually once told me, yo, you got it. So, I would write. Like I was going through some things, like with my mother. My mother had passed away, so I was writing like little songs oh. too, to her and I had a newborn daughter and stuff like that around that time. So, I was just writing some real shit. And like my nigga, like yo, I'm feeling it, you know what I'm saying? And then, by the time we got uptown, I, I, kept, it, I kept it rolling. How old did she go? Nah, she's not. So what's it like having a girl with all the bitches you played and the hearts you broke and all that? Like, how is it having a girl? Um, it's, man, one thing about a daughter is, like, it's like your soft spot, man. Like, you can't, it's, it's unexplainable. You can't, she almost can break you for anything. You know what yeah. I mean? She almost can break you. For anything, I ain't, um, I don't know, man. I, it, it, that's just with the with all the girls I dealt with, you know. I treated y'all good, <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Fuck it, I say, but I don't know, man. You know, I'm just gonna teach my daughter to respect herself, man. You know, I mean, first and foremost, for you know, what I mean, for any dude that she deal with, because she always love her father, you know, what I mean, so she ain't like to depend on that. So what is, what is her reaction when she sees your videos? Man, she's been looking at it. I mean, she know it for a little minute, so she get excited, you know, but around this time, she getting used, she about used to it. You know what I mean? She waiting for the big screen. BT, you know what I mean? All right. So, let's stay on the female topic, and now I'm gonna ask you. Cause I know a lot of women out there wanna know. Mm. Are you single? Yes, I am single. And why do you feel like this? What are you looking for that you haven't found? I 
mean, you know, it, it's a lot of girls, you know, out there that, that I know probably can fit in that spot. But, you know, right now I'm busy on the road. You know what I mean? You know, it's hard to handle a guy being out of town for weeks and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, you know, as of right now, I, I, I can't fill them shoes. You know what I mean? Right. Don't take on the job if you ain't right. So do you do you freestyle? Yeah, I can. You like well since you said you can like that, I take it that you like recording more than you like freestyle. Right. Yeah, yeah right. I remember yeah. right. Make more sense. Right. So when you what I mean I know like your life and the shit that you've been through, whatever the case may be, brings you to the point of writing, but what like do you have like a ritual that you do or like what is it that you have to have before you can just sit and write? Like you need to get high, you need to listen to a song uh, first. <laughs> good question. Um I need to get into that. It depends on where I'm at. And if I'm in the studio with my with my brothers, when I say my brothers, I'm talking about my squad, bomb squad as well. The vibe is just immediately. I can write anything I want. It's going to jump off. It's going to take off. Period. So I, that's just a vibe in itself. That automatic, I can do it. I can just when I'm alone. I gotta really get in that feeling. Like I don't have to be high up or drunk enough. Cause I done did hell of music sober. But I still gotta get in the zone. Being a bad friend, I gotta be. Like a wave, cause I wanna, I wanna go into the world. I wanna go into the, the beat. I wanna go into the, I wanna bring it to life. So I gotta be like zoned out to make, you know, make that good music. Of all your songs, which one is your favorite? My favorite song. Damn. Arms and crystal. I make so much music. <laughs> I really don't got a favorite song. The brothers will tell you, man, I be forgetting them fucking songs. <laughs> I lie to you, now I be forgetting the shit out of the songs. And they might put me on with one, like, damn. Like, damn, this was that shit for real. I just, I just continue making them, because I make them all feelings. So however I'm feeling, sometimes I got to snap out of it. They'll tell you, like, like I got, we got to get out of here. I got to get out of town, see some new shit. Because the music will be dark, you know what I mean? And, Ain't nothing happening, but what's happening going on, you know, sometimes. So we had to take a trip, ride out of town, see some new things, go spend some money, go enjoy ourselves, and I come back, get back to, you know what I mean, back to lighting that music up. So going out of town and uh, getting a new scenery and then being out of town performing, what, what is the what is the crowd like? What is the response from everybody that's not from Baltimore? And how does it make you feel? It make me feel good because we get um we get good we get good vibes from when we out of town. You know they love us. They be actually they be knowing us. You know who we is before we come. So um we got a lot of supporters out of town. VA, Chicago, um, DC, New York, Delaware. We actually we actually get love in a lot of different towns. You know what I'm saying? You know sometimes. Certain crowds don't be the crowds that we be, you know, wanting to form, you know what I mean, that don't be on the same thing, but we we make it work. You know, we show going. So what's the what's the most what's the best thing? What do you uh, what is the the greatest thing about performing? The greatest about performing. Um the energy, the energy, the, the response, the, the levels of the energies from my, from my peers, you know, the fans. I mean, it's just like the camera, it's a camera cut on the showtime. You feel me? And what's the worst thing about being a rapper? Um, holding your composure. Holding your composure because you really can put yourself in a, in a fucked up situation. You know what I mean? Basically, basically a person, a person can take you, take you lighter and think that, 
take you light and thinking that you just want to one of these rap rap dudes. You know what I mean? And you're really not. You're really learning to deal with this craft. You know, learning not to get yourself no to no real trouble and no loss. You know, you know what I mean? No case behind it. So that's like the the downside of you just got to be very careful. That's cool. you know? So with all the 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 rap sh the shows the videos and everything like that. How, when do you, like, how, how, is it, is it hard to, like, focus on the, the business part? Are you into the business part yet, or are you just still? Oh, no. The business part, that's, like, the ma major important thing. That's what like, a lot of again, people don't understand. Right, once again, I got a president of the Bronx so Squad. This is a chain of command. I got, I got so many people that, they got so many different positions that they do, you know. The business, the business actually come first. You know what I mean? Because we call the business is no structure. You know, so yeah, the business. Yeah, we, I, I, we get it done. You know what I mean? So run the chain of command down. Whose whose position is what? Chain of command. Chain of command is is you know it, it, it's several different CEOs. There's a president and it's you know a vice president and fuzz. Uh, Cadillac Booby, that's that's the president of Bomb Squad, that's that's the man, that's the go-to guy, you know what I'm saying? Then it's myself, that's my partner. Then you got um even my artists' bosses, they got, you know, they they, they carry their own. And then you got, you know, I got a couple other business. We got people are paid high, you know, high high to work. So we got other managers and business partners. You feel me? Um you know, we got Stink, he, he got the young boys, he brought them to the table. Like, we got everybody, so many people just, just working, working down. But at, at the top of that, that's that's how that situation is. So will Bum Squad ever have a first lady? Are y'all looking for a first lady? Uh -huh. Um, Bum Squad, one of the things, man, it just got to be a, the right time and it got to be the feel. If, if she come in at, at, at that point and she fit in that category, she she vibes good with these dudes and you know and they like that. You know, come on, like, it's just a it's just something that you, you don't just plan. Show up. You don't just plan. It just it just happened. There you have it, you've been plugged in. Bomb first will get bombed on. Ha, ha, ha.